Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Grant Brogy from The Strength Co. And today I wanna to give you a very simple deadlift program to use after your novice progression. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Now, I said it was a deadlift program, but obviously any program is probably going to include the big four lifts, but we're gonna focus primarily on the deadlift of my brother, Jeremy. While I could technically use anyone, this video is also going to tell you the message that you can get through the skull of your 41-year-old older brother. Jeremy started lifting with us last year, January of 2022. He worked with Coach Connor online and he did exactly what we told him. He ran the starting strength novice linear progression. If you have no idea what we're talking about, watch that video. From about January to June, he trained with Connor exclusively using our online training platform. And then he kind of got to the end of that novice progression. Connor put him on some type of advanced schedule. He flew out to California for my wedding. And when he got back to the East Coast back in August, his schedule changed and I started programming him. For July and August, I'm on a very simple, you know, kind of advanced novice program, getting him back after his week off or so. Remember, that means that from January to August, he only missed one week. And when I say one week, I think he missed like two workouts and that was it. That's the important part, consistency. After ramping him back up for a bit, in September, I put him on a program that he has since been PRing his deadlift nonstop, literally to this day. And when I say to this day, I say literally today. So I'm gonna show you his program and hopefully you can implement it and you can PR your deadlift. Well, actually he's PR'd his deadlift, his squat, his bench and his press, uh, and his close grip bench press. I guess it's just a PR program, but no, seriously, I want you to focus on the deadlift. Okay, let me give you a quick overview of his program so you kind of understand how it, wor it works and then we'll dive in deep on the deadlift. So he squats on Mondays and Fridays. On Mondays, he does a new eight that he's never done for three sets of three, and then he does a slight reduction for a set of five. So he's getting about 15 total kind of heavy and hard reps. And then on Friday, he does that same weight, but for five reps and three sets, three sets, five, whatever. We're not gonna cover his pressing stuff to keep brevity at hand. So what I want you to see that I did with him is I took his deadlift and I put him on like a five, three, one sort of program. So on the first week, he deadlifts 285 for five, then he does a back off set. He's not squatting on this day just because he doesn't have time and his schedule and his goals. Second week, he goes to 315 and he does two triples. So 315 by three by two. And then the third week, he goes and hits a top single. This wasn't quite a PR because he had done a little bit before, before his layoff, but it was pretty close. So from here we go to week four and he does 295 by four. Actually a 10 pound jump from his five rep uh, week three weeks ago, but that bar had been moving fast. I was able to watch it and I knew he could take more. He does his back offset, then he deadlifts again, 325 by three by two, then he hits a single. The single went up by five, he does a back offset. On and on it goes. In a second, we'll go down to the end of the program, seeing where he's at now, how long he was able to run it, but I wanna give you a little bit of theory about why and how this works. So on this type of program, we're kind of keeping the overall volume the same. Uh, on week one of kind of the three week cycle that repeats, he does 10 total reps, does a top set and then a back off set. On week two, he actually does a little bit more. He does like 11 reps because he hits two triples and then a back off set. And then on week three, sometimes he does a little bit less, sometimes he does about the same, but maybe he hits two singles, maybe he hits three, and then he hits a back off set. But what I like about it is that he's constantly exposed to new weights. This is beneficial for a few reasons. One, dealing with heavy loads is what you have to do to get stronger. Can you run fives for a really long time and then come in and PR? Absolutely. But there is a mental aspect that starts to come into play. And for Jeremy, him hitting that top set or that top single every third week, when he came back to the next week where it was a heavier set of five, he was like, hey, I just did this last week. I can totally handle this. So heavy set of five week one, second week, maybe two sets of three, third week, a top single. Why do I say maybe on the second week? Because maybe you're having a bad day and you have to do doubles, or maybe you can hit three sets of three. There's a little bit of variable that's there, but we wanna be somewhere in the two to three rep range where it's hard and it's heavy, but you get it done. And then the one rep week, maybe it's a PR if you're brand new intermediate like Jeremy, or maybe it's just a heavy single and it's not a PR, but either way, it should be slow and it should be hard. So back to the screen, here we are, January 4th. 370 for one, a PR. He does it twice, meaning two sets. So he PRs his deadlift twice. He even hurt his back a little bit. He hurt his back. Watch the back pain video. That's exactly how he rehabbed it. 
The next week, 315 by five. First time he had done that by five. I mean, remember back in September, that was like very close to his one RM, 345 for the triples. And then today he does 375 by one. I put in there in his notes, do two sets if you can. He did them both and it's not even there yet because it literally just happened like 30 minutes ago. And I was like, this is a good video. I should tell the people how to get their deadlift better. So this program, squat on Monday and Friday, get it? and deadlift on Wednesdays. Alternate five, three, one on your one days. If you can only hit one rep, maybe that's the case. If you can do two sets of one, great. If you do three sets of one, great. Play with it a little bit. This is where a coach can help you. But if you're doing it on your own, try it. Pick weights where you're dealing with new loads. So your one rep on week one should be somewhere near kind of your one RM. If you're actually a late novice, early intermediate, this will work. Again, someone helping you pick these weights can help. But that's what my brother did and it worked. And because he's my brother and my older brother, I have to play a little sound bite and show you a little video just so you know that, yeah, you know, they don't always listen. Okay, so one of those PRs happened to sync up with our turkey pull that we did last year and on Zoom, a bunch of people were lifting together, whatever. Jeremy was set to pull 370, that's what I told him to pull. Let's take a look at this 370 and then listen to what I say after. Let's go. Big chest, flat back, drive your legs, shoulders in front, come on. Chest up, push, push, push. Good, yep, keep going, keep it on the knee, keep it on the knee. So he stands up. Great pull, slow pull, long pull. Now listen. Yes. Nice. Oh, that was slow. Awesome. Awesome. Victory. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Kyle. I got good news for you, Jeremy. What's that? You're now a spectator. Huh? You're now a spectator. Hey, you <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So I tell him he's a spectator because I think that, hey, he's done, 370, that was the limit lifts, but he's my older brother. What does his younger brother know anything about barbell training? So he attempts 375. I told him it wasn't there. He didn't want to listen. Anyway, try the program. Five, three, one on your deadlift. Three by three squats on Monday. Five by three squats on Friday. Alternate those. Go up and wait. Hit some PRs. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.